Hey there, welcome to the uh, the last video from uh, my uh, initial uh, MR308 video series. This video is the uh, fourth video now and uh, this is the video where I'm going to replace the trigger on my MR308. First, I am going to separate the bottom I think these bolts, <laughs> they need a little bit of training and they're gonna get it. Okay, so the upper receiver with the barrel, we don't need that right now. The lower receiver, this is where we wanna be. And yeah, unfortunately for this, I have to remove the safety. I'm going to be punching out a lot of stuff, so I need my punching set, little hammer, and my next little puncherama. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I think bit of a shame because just uh, just a video ago I was um, I was putting on the, um, the, the the grip and I'm just gonna remove it again but um, I think this goes better without the grip oh there we go so, <laughs> some handwritten notes so the trigger that I am going to be building in is a single stage trigger made by Waffenburg in um, in Heilbronn. He's the, the same dude. Okay, saving these components, especially the screw. Don't get lost, little screw. He's the same guy that made the adjustable gas block here um, and he also came up with a a tr replacement trigger. So what I need to do is find a tiny, tiny, tiny punch to punch out the uh, safety pins. Okay. Oh, it definitely fell out of here. Oh, okay, I gotta be careful to put this back in when I'm done here. Damn it. Okay. Let me check my smallest punch here. This is small Mac punch. I hope this one's small enough. Remove the uh, remove any kind of extra stuff on it. Yep, I think this one works. Huh. I can actually just rest it here. I don't have to balance it. Holy shit, okay, my punch is not up to the task. Let me try. 
try something else. work. But this is a very slim <laughs> I need something to punch out these insanely thin Maybe I can use a Ooh. Yep. I can certainly use a drill. Nope, that's too big. That should be working. Yep. That should be working. the other side. <sighs> I'm a bit I'm a bit careful here. I need a, a cleaner drill. Okay, this one doesn't have nearly as much dirt on it. Okay, what I'm going to try is maybe it's possible to insert this with the ooh, with the um, safety moved all the way over there. Okay, let's let's get the old trigger out first. That's a bit more straightforward. So unfortunately getting the trigger out is just a big mess. <laughs> there is no way I'm easily going to be putting all this together again. But I'm going to be saving all this for sure. OK, let's see. Damn it. Nope. There is absolutely no way I'm getting in there 
without removing the um, <laughs> Something else could be a little. Yep, this looks great. Yep, yep, yep. I think I got it to move. drill uh, the drill is not a good option I think it it flexes too much I need something else <coughs> can I fit this in there get a bit more maybe I can try this ay, ay, ay. this is just terrible This won't move any further. Oh, will it? Okay, I think we're almost done here. Nope, not quite. Okay, fell out. Come on. Yeah. Stupid thing. Okay. <sighs> Holy shit. You are giving me a hard time. Okay, I just want to make sure this one goes, n this goes nowhere. Okay, so putting in the new trigger. Let me check the. Okay, put it in. Put in the front. was the back and this was the front okay
Okay. Now, next step is punching out So, the next step is punching out this and hoping it stays in place. Okay, good. So this was a this was there to fix the, the whole assembly. Okay. And now I have to boop, 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 boop. Maybe you can see it here. There's two screws down there. Okay, they're extremely hard to see. Um, the screws are here and here and I have to um, tighten those to make sure that the um, that the whole assembly gets a firm a firm um, seat inside there um, let me grab a, an appropriate tool okay there we go This is especially going to prevent the um, the bolts from moving. Um, yeah, the the punches. See, nothing's moving anymore. Let me just give this one a tiny. Okay, much better. This one. Okay, sounds good. Now I want to increase the pressure a little bit. This one's a 2.0 hex. Uh, give me a second, I'm going to grab a hex key. this oh this one's clearly not it This must be the two hex key. Yep. So tightening this a little more. Okay, I think this is super tight now. Good. Ah, maybe we need this one later. I think there's more hex two parts in there. <coughs> Okay, so
Okay, so this is now the safety. So gray tolerances here. This it is like perfectly aligned to the safety. Very nice. You could uh, you could adjust it a little bit. Yeah, you you, you could. Uh, you could adjust it a tiny bit down there with this, um, get on if you can see it down here, with this screw, you could adjust the, um, the trigger uh, a tiny bit to make sure that it's uh, perfectly, oh. Yeah, but I, I think it is already perfectly aligned okay so we have to put the safety back in I hope this is something I never have to do again try it like this and give you a good angle but I might regret it don't laugh at me. yeah like this it's better way better Okay, let me try and add, I get, oh, no, I think it's good enough, I, I, I shouldn't be, uh, I just want to leave that part of the, of the run. Okay, good. So, now is there are two springs here <laughs> they added a little note for me this um, this um, trigger is is not really intended for uh, for direct sales but I asked them and they agreed to send me one with instructions and offered to uh, to provide telephone support should I uh, run into issues? So these little uh, rounded sides are supposed to be pointing outwards. Hmm. I hope this is the right revision of. I hope this revision of the rifle is supported because it doesn't look like there's enough room in there. Yeah, so the springs go in here like that.
So yeah, the springs come pre-compressed. And I have to get them over the... Better put my gloves back on. Starting to realize why they wouldn't want to sell this on a shop. Got it. First one's in. Second one is in. Ah, oh, thank God. It fits in. Okay, let's see it break. Feels good. Yeah, I think this one's uh, really working well, really working well. Great, I'm so happy. Okay, now comes the, uh, the part where I have to get all this together again. Shit. Yeah, I guess, I guess this way around, right? Yes. <laughs> there is like putting this one off on save means there is nothing nothing going on the triggers like a like like a solid part of aluminium to apply a tiny bit of some modern like uh, when I ordered this the dudes add um, the dudes add the, the German wholesaler uh, the, the German distributor for Heckler and Koch <laughs> you wouldn't believe it Heckler and Koch has got a distributor in Germany um, well yeah it's probably pretty normal but kind of cracks me up so the distributor I was I was on the phone with with one of the guys uh, is it's a pretty they're pretty cool they uh, actually told me that this particular rifle just happens to be on stock and all other variants uh, have a six to nine month lead time so I was like hey give me this one I mean that <laughs> short barrel is so awesome um, yeah and um, yeah I want to apply a tiny bit of a, a lubricant that he heavily recommended. Let's zoom out a tiny bit. So this is the stuff 
It is called Flunatec Flunatec Gun Coating, made in Austria. I can deal with Austrian stuff. Yeah, so this stuff is supposed to be um, really great as a gun lubricant or gun, gun coating or whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's say to tap. Okay. Yep. Looks good. Just want to make sure that we get some lubricant down in there and uh, I think we're done installing the trigger. This has been a, a bit tricky especially removing the safety which is a, an immense pain with this rifle. Um, a bit sad Heckler and Koch didn't come up with a nicer solution there. One of the nice things this uh, this trigger also supports uh, safe on on the uh, uncocked position which is something I don't know, I, I kind of find useful. Um, yeah, let's get these out. Um, let's bring back the fun side. Okay. Well, feels kind of safe to me. Like I, <laughs> I don't want to um, stress this too much, but uh, yeah, I think the trigger is working. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I think I like this trigger. Yeah. More on this soon. Um, I am waiting for my uh, Geisley supercharging handle, both for my um, MR223 and my MR308. They both need a Geisley supercharging handle. And um, I will also probably be posting videos of my upgrade, uh, of some upgrades I've done to the uh, 223. Um, so yeah, please stay tuned if you enjoy some um, gun videos from Germany.